some music on this I know. Monday. This is one where we, this is our segment where we learn a lot. Okay, so right now <laughs> there's a lot of Central Texas families. They're getting ready for their holiday house guests to come through. But there's some there's some tricky situations. Yeah that can pop up. So we're going to get the answers from our etiquette guru. Yeah, here. and it's always fun too. Diane Gotsman is our etiquette expert. It, let's say you're going to a holiday party as well. You, you want to know the what to do and what not to do when so it comes to So people don't talk attendance. about you afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, because that's not very polite no. either. <laughs> like, oh, could you, did you see what Chris did at the party? So what's so one of the bad. first things maybe people should think about when they're invited to a party? Is it, do you RSVP? I know Allison and I go back and forth whether we want to RSVP, or at least I do, because I don't want to have to commit so early. And that they know it. So that's why you do have to RSVP because the reason why you don't want to commit so early is because you're shopping your options, right? <laughs> Chris wants okay. to see if there's something better that comes up. So, so you have 48 hours to RSVP. Oh, good In to know. the perfect okay. world, you get the invitation, you look at your calendar, you hope something better might come up if that's what you're waiting for, mm -hmm. and then you have to make a decision, at least within that week. Okay, but, you good know, to know. The sooner 48 the better. hours. That is yes. good to know. Okay, so say um, we're hosting the event at our house. There's some tricky there's some tricky rules. I mean, if you have, say you have young children or babies and you yes. have families come over and they're staying for free, is it rude to ask them to maybe babysit so you can get a night away? So we're talking about <laughs> house guests and I hosts. Like this. Okay, so if you have house guests that come in, okay. but you think to yourself, hmm, now I've got a free babysitter, <laughs> the answer is really you need to think about it before you ask them. If it's grandma or grandpa, they're probably going to want to watch their grandchildren for a little while with the mm -hmm. emphasis on a little while. <laughs> but if you have guests that just come in and they're there to visit with you but also to visit with other people, you really want to think twice before you ask them, hey, would you watch your kids tonight so we can be asked? Because it's not a barter. You know, right. this yeah. isn't a trade-off. If you invited them over, then they still should have their own agenda as well. If they offer and you sure. want to do it, great. But I wouldn't expect it. And okay. I think that goes okay. to another, like I offer, when I go to visit my family in New York, my brother and his wife, I have a niece and a nephew, I always make it clear if I want to do it, hey, Hey, you guys go out and I'll watch them right. because yes. it goes They'll back offer. and forth. That way, that way you don't have to ask, they don't have to ask because they sometimes feel guilty in asking yeah. as well. And you know, that's a good that's a good point. If they want to babysit, they will offer. Right. But oh, really, yeah. unless they offer, mm, I, I would Wouldn't keep them asking. Yeah. Okay, I, I have a question too because a lot of people, when they're coming, they might think, oh, well, I'm going to come for two weeks and hang out. <laughs> How do you say, come visit, but only stay for a weekend, please? So if, they, if I call you and say, listen, I want to come see you for three weeks, and you just want me for three days, you want to say, oh, my gosh, Diana, I would love to have you come, but we only have that guest room available for three days or five oh, I like days. That, yeah. Yes, you okay. know, uh, I'd love to see you, but we're only going to have this much time available. So. If you'd like to come and stay with us and then find a hotel or a bed and breakfast someplace close, I can give you some suggestions. Okay, mm. that's Well, and sometimes, too, you can always say, you know what, we're only off from work from these days to these days. That's the only time that we're going to be able to do a, to yeah. really host you. Yeah, but they're going to say, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You can go to work. Oh, <laughs> that's I'm, true. I'm happy to stay with Okay, home. I didn't think about that. So it's, <laughs> it's all about true. the wording then. Yeah. So let's say somebody has, when we're at somebody's house um, or you're hosting and you have all this food. Somebody may have like certain dietary needs. Someone yes. may be diabetic, diabetic vegetarian. Uh, vegetarian. How do you handle that? How do you prepare for that? Well, Is it rude to say, would you like dessert? You want to ask in advance. So you want to say, do you have any dietary restrictions that I should know mm. of? So if they are not allergic, you don't want to have anything on the table that has nuts because it could be life or death, you know, a life yeah. or death situation. Same with being a diabetic, you know, but that way you can prepare. If you have a whole table full of guests, you can prepare some dishes that have sugar in it, you know, some desserts. And then for Uncle John, who is a diabetic and, you know, your, your mom, mm -hmm. you can prepare special dishes for them as well. And even ask them, listen, what kind of dessert would you like? What can I make for you? Or what is your favorite dish? So you can incorporate some of those dishes in as well. Yeah. So That's there's a difference between a restriction and an uh, adding an option yes adding yes. options and actually a lot of people that have restrictions will bring their own dessert because they know and that you want yeah, to know that now if they're a house guest and they come from another state or town That's they're not going to bring their own <laughs> yeah. but yes absolutely and if you are a guest at a party 
not related to house guests and you do have a particular uh, let's say gluten you you have to stay on a gluten-free diet and you know that there's gonna be a lot of things there that you can eat bring something for the whole table that everyone can enjoy and you know for sure you can uh, eat. We could talk to you all morning. I Here's know, more information when it comes to etiquette. Look them up. There is their website. You could also follow them on the blog. They have a Facebook page and Twitter. Always, always interesting. I think we're kind of keeping it everything it we can. Yeah, we try to, to absorb out. as much as we can <laughs> yeah. because you want to make sure that you are the person that's not talked about, like Allison said. <laughs> no, when you, leave you don't the party. want to be that relative. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. We so appreciate yeah, you stopping by.